Hello, this is Oreo Watcher. This is the machine, and I haven't hooked up to this in a while. I wanted to see where my energy levels were at. And it's called the an E-Machine, and I believe they are the same company that makes the Chi Machine as well. I have the Chi Machine. I'll be doing a video on that. That one's kind of boring. This one's kind of cool, though. This is really um, shows... Um, once we do the proper exercise, I have to put this belt on. I haven't done this in a while. If you're going to have this equipment, I should probably use it. And you have to have your feet off the ground. You have to sit on a wooden chair. I have um, a bulb here just in case I guess I decide to light up. I've checked my body for metal. You can't have like rings, jewelry on, things like that. Um, we're going to set the time. Um, EPA. Set a new time. Oh, there we go. Alright, so right now it's just kind of just me and this machine. Um, you can pause it, and so at some point I may get up and have a drink of water. You are supposed to drink a lot of fluids while using this machine. Much like the Chi machine, um, if you have a lot of toxins in your body, um, you are going to feel it afterwards. And so really they recommend you drinking a lot of water before, during, and after. Um, so at some point I will have to pause this so that I can get my water bottle. Um, basically this is something that is designed for one person or two if you're going to be doing some kind of exercise where um, basically you will be, while hooked up to this machine, your body is going to take in this um, energetic pulse frequency and <clears throat> you basically want it snug but not too snug. You want your feet off the ground. You want to be in a relaxed position. Um, you are getting an energetic treatment. Um, this is something, you know, I don't fully know how it works. Scientifically, I think it's pretty awesome. Um, The bottom line is, is we all have an energy field and we have an auric field and when we work with this machine it helps to build the um, kind of like that energetic field up and you get to learn a lot more um, about your own body's energy field and the frequencies that you take in and emit every day. Um, I've always been interested in metaphysics on every level, and so I feel like um, to use this machine accordingly, I should be doing it every day, much like the Chi machine. I work a lot, and I work, and I so I'm on my feet 40-plus um, hours a week at my job, and I need to know that I am producing enough energy to do my job to the best of my ability. Um, I work in a group home, and I work with people with special needs, and so, um, again, it's person-served, and the bottom line is, is we're there to help them, and in order for me to help them, I have to be at my best of my ability. So, it's it, it does take some time um, to build up this energy field. Now right now, the closer you get to your body with this pen, they give you this really cool pen, and the closer you get to your body, it tends to like shut off. So what I like to do is you hold it away from your body, and as far away as you can hold it is your arms will stretch. And if the pen is actually lighting up, and in this case it is, it's just kind of hard to see from that angle, um, that's about the circumference 
um, of my energy field. And it could be further. If I had an assistant, they would be able to measure it even better. So right now, um, when I'm able to touch the pen, and at some point, I suppose I'll be able to light this light bulb, and I will have to um, turn off the light to be able to see. Um, but yes, that right now I'm happy to note that I can see the light of the pen. Maybe you can see it in the camera. So I can stretch as far away from myself, which I have really short arms, so I'm not able to show this as good as I would like to. Let's try my left hand. So the orange, it's, an, it's a small orange light. And in whatever direction that I turn, I'm able to get the light to come on. Um, anytime you suffer from illness, pain, discord in the body, um, you're going to, you basically have less energy to work with because if you had more energy to work with, more than likely you would be able to eradicate those things by use of that energy. So right now it's been about five, six minutes. Um, I'm going to pause it and it's paused at the moment so that I can get up and get my water. And I'm wondering if water is actually the conduit for this experiment. And I followed all the instructions. Let's see where we are at on time. I have about seven minutes left. It'll have to be a part one and a part two. And I've done this before. So now I'm putting this back on the belt. And basically putting my feet back up and unpausing it. And we'll see. Okay. There we go. Huh. I hit pause still instead of play. So the bottom line is, as you can see, this belt is nice and snug. You, I'm actually very comfortable. I'm sitting on a wooden chair. To some, that might not be comfortable. You could probably sit on plastic, too. My feet are on a plastic bin. I checked the bin for metal. I've checked everything in the area for metal, so I don't feel like that is what is causing the issues. Um, so it's probably just me. My body needs to get used to the frequency of this pulse. Um, but again, as I'm holding the, the pen, um, the further away from my body, that is the energy field. Um, so I'm glad to see that the pen is lighting up. I would definitely like to see the light bulb light up. And at some point we were going to see. It's possible this bulb is burned out. I won't be able to tell here for a little bit. So I'm going to hold the bulb and see if it comes on on its own. I'll show it in um, the camera range. So it could just be that because I haven't charged myself in a while, and this is a form of like energetically charging yourself. You're also releasing toxins. And the more toxic you are, um, you know, truly you can't function at your highest level of performance. So um, imagine a stagnant pond, you know, dirty, murky water. Well, in order to clear that water, um, there would have to be a detoxification process going on. And, and unfortunately, it happens to all of us, the best of us. We're all in a position at this point in time um, to have to clear ourselves daily, really, um, because we are trying to rid ourselves of these toxic energies and tox literal toxins. In some cases, you know, we're taking in all these things and chemicals and residuals and um, pollutants. And what are we supposed to do? Um, really 
if we don't take care of ourselves. No one else is going to take care of us if we don't take care of ourselves. Um, at the end of the day, I take care of people every day. And I know the importance of self-healing and um, being aware of your body at all times and like your emotional state and like the four body system. I've talked about this. That's mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, but everything starts on a spiritual level. Um, so when we use this machine in all reality, um, we really want our body to receive the energy properly. And that's not always the case. Sometimes we have a negative, um, um, after effects of getting a treatment on an energy level and that's because energy healing on any level is truly remarkable and it works um, like subatomically it works metaphysically it works spiritually and it perhaps may not see what you see on the physical plane and what you see in your reality it can be a whole different ball game going on behind the scenes especially when it comes to healing so what, what we possibly think, I'm going to try to put this belt on a different way and see if it helps. Because I think I put it in backwards again. Anyways, there's only so many minutes left, but I'll be doing another video on the She Machine as well. And... Um, the Chi Machine is the same company that sells this machine, and really, um, it is a pretty remarkable machine as well, and it helps keep, get your Chi flowing, which that's probably what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go on the Chi Machine next, and see if that helps boost, um, my energy field up. I am holding the light bulb right now. And right now, as I'm sitting here, this bulb is not working. Um, again, the small bulb inside this pen is working. Um, but what we would like to see is we would like to obviously light the light bulb. That shows that you have more of a level of the energy frequency. And I have been ill. I've had some um, health issues going on, on and off. And, and so that is my body's way of... Um, telling me, um, hey, you know, you don't have enough energy right now to light that light bulb. <laughs> um, not that I'm, I'm upset about that. I mean, I do know that, you know, as we get older and our bodies, um, you know, um, are constantly changing. And um, I have been under a great deal of stress, unfortunately. And I think that all those factors into play. But I did light the pen, and that's what matters. I'm checking the time. Um, basically, um, we're almost time. Time is almost up, and I'm going to go in the chi machine, and then I'm going to try this experiment again, and then I will post that experiment as well. So. This is the machine. This is the pen. Um, I don't have the belt on right now, so it's hard to show. Hopefully it's showing in the video. All right, signing off. We're going to go do part two.